Welcome to ADP Rivet. We're going to demonstrate our ultimate rivet and compare it to the exploding or trifold rivet. We're going to use compression spring washers. Each one of them has a load of about 50 pounds. So when they compress, the rivet is exerting at least 50 pounds per washer on the application. Okay, we're going to take a trifold and try to make it easy for it to work here. We're taking it with under three-eighths of an inch thick of materials. There's only two spaces on the washers here. Let's see if it pulls a few washers together tightly. The result is you could see spaces between the washers, which means it did not compress the washers completely. Okay, we're at ADP. We're going to do one more test. This thickness is about a little over half inch right around a half inch. Let's see if this rivet could compress these spaces on the washers. What we have is not a very good set. The rivet did not set well at all. It did not compress the washers and of course it didn't even expand on the back. So that's a little bit beyond what the trifold or exploding rivet could do. It's thick with some spaces in the washers. As you can see, a serious failure. It's obvious trifold or exploding rivets have their issues with separated sheets. Now we're going to move to the ultimate rivets made in USA by ADP we have Rivet. One of our ultimate rivets. This is an extra long ultimate rivet. As you can see, this ultimate rivet is going to go a little bit further. We're right around a half inch thick. Let's see if it pulls these washers together. Each washer is about 50 pounds deflection. Pulls those washers tight. We reverse the drill to. We have a clean breaking nail and a rivet, ultimate rivet that set those washers completely flat. We're going to take an ultimate rivet and go well beyond the grip range. This is about five eighths of an inch thick, almost three quarters of an inch thick. And as you can see, there's many spaces of washers here. And we're going to see if the rivet will pull them together. This is an ultimate rivet. Wow. That compressed over a half inch worth of materials. Those spaces are practically gone. They are gone. Those washers represent 50 pounds each. There's about a bit compressed flat. The rivet is sealed on the back side. And on the front side, the side that you would see on the finished side of the project, there is no nail. Completely smooth finish. Very safe product. In conclusion, we have the ultimate rivets at three different thicknesses of washers. This one is well over a half inch, over five eighths of an inch. This is right around five eighths of an inch, and this is right around three eighths of an inch. In every case, the washers have been compressed tight, which provides the fact that the ultimate rivet will over 800 pounds of deflection. On the left here, we have the trifold or exploding or bolt type rivet, we see that in thinner applications, there's only six washers there, so that's about it pulled them somewhat tight. There is still spaces between them. Right around three eighths of an inch, we could see that it did not pull them tight. There's certainly spaces. Here is another one at three eighths of an inch. This is a definite failure. There's only two wings on the back. The nail broke in the middle, and the application is certainly loose. And here we try to use a trifold that was a little bit beyond three eighths of an inch. This started out being right around half inch. As you can see, it was a total failure. The rivet did not compress at all, and the spaces are very obvious. What would you want to use to hold your car, your bus, your trailer, your snowmobile, or even your file cabinet together? Something that's going to hold tightly and securely for mile after mile or year after year. Never a nail sticking out the front. Or something that is going to provide a loose, unsecured, fastened joint or even a failure with a potential safety hazard with a nail sticking out. The ADP Ultimate Rivet certainly outperforms the exploding type rivets on the left.